Welcome back to SmackDown vs. Raw 2009, the road to WrestleMania of the game, Triple H. Last time he won a triple threat match to become the number one contender for the WWE Championship, because of course he did. Thanks for tuning in to Raw. You're welcome. We now have a new number one contender in Triple H. What is that the graphic? Exciting triple threat match last week. It was all right. They have won. The two guys who lost aren't too happy. And I should That's care right. why. Edge and Mr. Kennedy want another shot at the game. Oh. And they'll get it tonight in a handicap match. Yeah, well, everybody wants a shot at the game. Hopefully this time, nobody's going to threaten to impale him. Although, judging by what he said last time, I think he'd like that very much. Now we're in the locker room, and it sounds like we got a message on our phone. So how about we check it out? Let me get this straight. You challenged me and the Rated R Superstar to a handicap match tonight? I did. You got a death wish or something? For the so-called cerebral assassin? You're pretty darn stupid. Uh, I think I might have to agree with you. Triple H, why are you over here making matches without consulting me first? Aren't I the one that control you? Aren't you my puppet on a string? Yeah, I know. The answer is no. These people do whatever they want to do, despite what I want them to. But with that in mind, let's get into this match. This handicap match. That's just going to add a whole nother level of challenge on this match. But don't worry, there's not a challenge that Triple H can't handle. Except beating The Undertaker at WrestleMania. Yeah. Now let's get it. The game go. is going to be taking down both these men, the the but this time they're on the same side. He's giving them right hands and elbows. Come on, game, give it to him. And another right hand. And another elbow. And Triple H. Oh, yeah. We've seen it once. We've seen it a thousand times. The game is getting rolled up. No ref. No. no swiper. No swiping. No. All right. You better stop with it. There you go. Get down with that knee. And now, take that foot to the wherever that was. The fans are somehow chanting Triple H despite that never, ever, ever happening in real life. And Edge is going to get a face full of the mat. And now it's your turn, Kenny. Got to get that dang finisher up. Get up. Here we go. Whoa. Okay. Mr. Kennedy never actually wants to get dropped on his back. Probably might have something to do with the fact that he did it to Randy Orton and somehow hurt him. And here we go with another knee to the face. All right, Edge is up, but not for long. He wasted the pedigree on Edge, and meanwhile, Kennedy's back up. All right, H, what are you going to do? He's going to do his... Yeah, all right, he's good. Kennedy, get that pedigree. And now who's he going to pin? Kennedy, come on, stay down, Edge. Stay down. All right, we're good. Yeah, we are. This man is just so good. Nobody can stand up against him. Not even his former protege, Randy Orton. Oh, wait, what's this? Edge and Kennedy are getting beat in the face. Oh, no. No. And now Triple H has had the tides turned on him. And now he's out of the ring. No, brother. No. Is Triple H going to ride off into the sunset like a beaten, battered, and broken? B whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, Edge, you want to get impaled with this? <laughs> he said no. <laughs> he doesn't need anybody to watch his back, King. He's got Sledgy, and Sledgy takes care of all his problems, no matter how big, small, or how many of them there are. That's right. The game stands supreme. He's the number one contender. And Randy, you are next. And without further ado, let's head to the Raw Arena so JR and the King can tell us what we're doing. Welcome to Raw. We have a real treat tonight. A WWE Championship match. Already? Triple H has the number one contender spot, but the beating he took last week may hurt his chances. Not at all. If there's one man who could put Randy Orton's title reign to the test, test. it's Triple H, no matter his condition. And also test, no matter his condition. <laughs> oh, I'm going to hell. <laughs> Triple H. It's Rick James. Good luck tonight in your championship match. Thanks, Nate. You know better than anyone else what it's like to be in this situation. Does he? It seems like only yesterday, you, me, and Randy, we were all one unit. Aren't you missing somebody from that? That's history, Rick. That's what you call history. And tonight will be historic. How do you figure? 
thanks for stopping by. Yeah, get out. Bring it home, champ. Oh yeah, he's gonna bring it home, Rick. He's gonna need something to take his mind off his yapping wife when he gets home. And no, I'm not assuming she's a yapper. I know she is, because she's always on our phone leaving us messages. And speaking of messages, we don't have any while we're here in the locker room. All we got here is 69 days to WrestleMania. Oh yeah, Randy, you better be ready because Triple H is going to walk out of here with your... Okay, hold on. Wait, no, no. We all know by now Triple H is not leaving here with that WWE title. We've sat through so many roads to WrestleManias where at this point, our guy would challenge for the title and then something screwy would happen, and I bet that's going to happen tonight. But anyways, let's get this going. Triple H starts things off with that neck breaker. And yeah, he's almost got a finisher, so you know Randy is in danger. Yeah, I've learned now, don't try to pick him up because they reverse every time like that. And I can't believe he reversed the pedigree. But Triple H is back on his feet. Here we go. Now, um, Randy, I don't want you going to Vince and complaining that we dropped you on your neck like you did with Kennedy. Well, even if you did, what's he going to do to Triple H? And now Triple H, he hits him with a spear and pounds his head a little bit. Yeah. All right, Triple H, we got to do this, big man. The game's got the finisher ready and the fans on his side. It's now time to drop him with the pedigree. The arms are hooked very aggressively. And now down he goes. But wait, no. You don't pick him up, Triple H. All right, here we go. H in the corner. And he takes him down with a neck breaker. Now I'm just waiting for somebody to interject themselves in this match and ruin it. I don't know who it's going to be. And I don't know when it's going to happen. But I do know that is called a pedigree. Triple H with a pin. Come on. Yes. Oh, how? Referee, this is your fault. All right, again, let's go to work on him. We got to get another finisher. And yeah, a knee to the face. The game has got that finisher, and he's going to be ready to use it any second now. No, what is this? What are you, what, what's going on? Come on, yeah. He hits him with a face buster. And here we go again, baby. Here comes, aggressively, the pedigree. And now, here we go. Come on. All right. What in the world are you doing? Why, why, is, it, why is everyone kicking out of the pedigree? I, I don't believe this. In real life, it only takes one. What's going on? Here we go one more time. The third and hopefully final pedigree. Now... Please, referee, if you don't mind. Thank you, oh my goodness. What's going on? Don't make me slap you, because I will, and then I'll fire you. Can't believe this. Three pedigrees. This man is busted wide open, and he still refuses to die. Now here we go. The fans are behind Triple H, and for the fourth and final time, the pedigree. Now, referee, I, I will I, I will lose my mind if you do not count two, three. I, I just, I, you, I want to put my hands around your throat and, like, never let go. Like, even when the, okay, okay, this is why. All right. Here we go. Yeah. I figured this would happen. And now Triple H is going to get some payback. No, no, he's not. He's going to get reversed over and over and over again. Wait. All right, he's okay. Wait, go, wait. Ah, oh, what's happening? Something is not, nothing is happening. I don't, I don't know what, what please, look, get out of here. Get, someone get this out of here. I can't believe Randy Orton kicked out from four pedigrees and Edge is making me have a bad night. And to make things worse, here we go with a spear. Roman Reigns can do a better spear than that. Oh, no, not you too, Randy. And where's the blood at? Holy goodness. <laughs> he got him in the head. Right in the dome. He, he has. You tell me. Stun locked in DJR. I can't believe it either. All I know is that Ric Flair said something about evolution 
and now Randy's on our side. So maybe we're going to be seeing that next, uh, I, I guess.